Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Alexiev KM, a new type of aircraft added in the recent update to Aeronautica that is uh, somewhat questionably timed. So this is what is known as a ground effect vehicle. It hovers above like ground on a cushion of air generated on these physics breaking wing yeah physics breaking wings uh, not too sure how it works but the Russians found a way to make it work now uh, so we're gonna start this off by taking a look at this plane stats so we have here the max speed is 270 knots not too fast for a jet honestly but it's on par with many other seaplanes available to players in this game the stall speed is 80 knots okay the service ceiling is 25 meters which makes it super hard to fly this plane without crashing and the range is 110 kilometers but you could push it to 250 by flying at about 19 to like 21 meters and the capacity is 80 now uh, I'm gonna tell you about some notes that I have made on this aircraft so uh, first of all it is incredibly slow for such a rare aircraft something like 90,000 WP and orange rarity uh, it doesn't make that much money uh, see here it barely just barely pulls off about like 500 WP per minute depending on the supply and demand but it does get access to uh, every single airport because this is somehow classified as like a seaplane and seaplane gets to uh, go essentially go around the airport capacity limits uh, as planes somewhat useless I'm very funny uh, there's actually like better planes than this an example is the Seamaster which is actually like easier to fly than this thing and you also have the SR-45 uh, it fits pretty nicely in your hangar though along with like other stuff Oh, and last thing is, you want to make sure you don't pick a job that requires you to go on land. Like, maybe Anhedro is a bit risky, since you do have to sail down that river. Because, like, if you're going on land... So, first of all, to not hit the land, you have to increase your flying altitude by a little bit. And then you have to increase it by a little bit more to not hit, like, the buildings there which means you're going to be flying super close to your service ceiling and the moment you reach that service ceiling you just crash and die which is annoying so uh, I guess the strategy for making tons of money in this thing would be just fly out of airports with very high supply and demand modifiers so somewhere like Weebly to uh, not Weebly but also not like Valoi or uh, Clarence. Just Weebly to everywhere else besides Eno, Val, Clarence, and that new Soviet airport like Leo something I can't remember. Okay, so as usual with uh, this type of video, I'm going to be giving a demonstration on how to fly this plane properly without, uh, you know, dying because this is actually a pretty risky plane to fly so you want to hold a uh, shift during the entire flight and uh, that's only because uh, you want to make sure you don't pitch up too high too suddenly which will cause the aircraft to stall and then I'm just gonna equalize and make sure I don't fly any higher than I am right now in while I try to get to maximum speed Okay, this is as fast as I'm gonna go, so I'm gonna go for a tiny pitch and then uh, we're just gonna have like the aircraft rise and fall throughout the entire flight. But it's not gonna be anything major, you rise like two feet and then you fall like two feet. So it's kind of like a wave, I guess, and uh, yeah, 
that was like the hardest part of the fly. I actually know the landing is. This is like the second hardest part of the fly. And then uh, once you have gotten to your cruising altitude of 20 entire meters or uh, 65 feet, what you want to do now is you just want to wait until you arrive at your destination and pray that your aircraft doesn't run out of fuel. Or you misclick. No. Yeah, so uh, one wrong button click could mean the difference between life and death. Yes, I know this is very cliche, but also uh, it's very true. So uh, please don't press the backspace button by accident. I'm just warning any uh, potential like buyers of this plane, please don't, please don't develop the habit of accidentally pressing the backspace button. It doesn't normally end well for your uh, bank account. You know what tends to happen is you suddenly lose like twenty thousand money for no reason whatsoever, besides the fact that you just crashed a plane. So uh, I'll return once uh, I am somewhat close to the destination, which is Eisen. Oh, the mun the municipal airport. Okay, all right. I thought I was going to the military base, but apparently not. Alright, so, um, I'm only 6 kilometers away from the destination, however, I'm gonna have to circle around to the other side of the island since this plane is not advanced enough to a point where it can just simply pass through solid rock. Pretty unfortunate, if I do say so myself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take the wide path around this island and try to stop at the dock landing with this thing is possibly the most risky part of a fly with the km honestly and yes it can go on land as you are seeing right now so it is not limited to water only however i do recommend everyone flies this plane on water since it is just simply safer to do so Now I am going to try to land this plane, so uh, I cut all the engines and just uh, try to put this plane into the water like that. Just gently make sure you don't push it in too far, otherwise it explodes or uh, kills the engines. And if you kill the engines, I don't know, like very far away from your destination, congratulations, you just flown for 25 minutes without getting anything. So I am going to uh, make my way to the little uh, small dock. Why? Why is this thing so small? Oh, is that a crate? Ooga booga! I see crate. Neurons activated. But anyways, yeah, that's a crate, I guess. Uh, very cool. And I am just gonna dock. Well, I mean, I mean, would dock be the proper term for this? I don't know. Who cares? Here is the flight. Uh, Pretty decent profit, all things considered. That's what, like 15 ish thousand money and then 13,000 cash for uh, 25 minutes. I mean, no, 13,000 WP for 25 minutes. It's okay. Uh, if you find this plane on sale and you really want to buy it, then buy it. Or if you're just like in the end game and you got nothing else you want to get, then, uh, then get this thing. But like, if you actually, but if you're actually like trying to develop your, uh, well, if you're trying to develop your hangar, essentially, uh, don't get this plane. There are way better, more profitable planes than this. And, uh, so I don't recommend you get it unless if you really want to get it. And that is my verdict for this review. I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you all next time on Paxo NC Gaming. Bye!